A quick recap. We figured there are vertices, edges and faces in edit mode. We can bevel, extrude and make cuts as well as fill holes. So let's get on with our project. First, let's switch to the front view from the tilde key or one on the numpad and drag in a few reference images. You can find this in the project files in the video description. Now let's add a cylinder and from the small setting box in the lower left make sure it has 64 sides. Actually any number around that will do as long as it's even. We can switch to edit mode, hit 3 for faces and delete the top and bottom. Now hit 2 for edges and select the top row by holding down shift. You can hold alt and left click to do it faster. Now by extruding and scaling let's start shaping up the top of the muffin. Take your time and make sure you create evenly spaced faces. Once we round off the top we can fill the hole with faces. Let's proceed to the bottom. We just need one more row of edges and we can fill that hole too. Also if you look at the reference images there is a bit of taper to the whole thing so let's do it with scale. Now let's create the little grooves we see on any muffin. Select every other edge from this side. You can do it one by one or just select the first two and hitting Ctrl Shift Plus will do it for you and we can scale them in. To finish off the model let's add a few more cuts with Ctrl plus R so that everything is nice and even you've probably also noticed that things look a bit edgy. To fix that you can go back to object mode, right click and select shade smooth. That way Blender will know even though the model is made up of small planes it should treat it as a smooth surface. And if you're not happy with the shape just keep selecting edge loops and use move and scale until you get a nice shape. In the next episode we're going to explore some more modeling tools. Also, if you have skipped some of the previous steps but wish to follow along from here, you can get all the project files for this tutorial series from the link in the description below. I'll also be adding some bonus videos in there if you want to speed up your learning process. Subscribe for more tutorials and see you in the next episode.